Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So OnePlus is rolling out a new update for OnePlus 12R. Though it doesn't bring any kind of new features, but there are fixes which OnePlus have done. So in this video, let's find out what are those fixes. And there are few things which OnePlus has still not fixed on OnePlus 12R. I'll let you know guys about that also. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 12R. I've already updated this device to latest build. Guys, I did not receive it via OTA update, so I manually installed the build. I'll give the direct link of the incremental update in the description below. You can just use local update method and install the update. The zip file size would be somewhere around 609 MB. While installing manually, you'll see the update size somewhere around 581 MB. Under Android version, now you can see security patch has been updated to 5th May 2024. Previously, we had April security patch. And talking about the version, now the version is .800. And guys, now before moving ahead, if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. First, let's talk about the before and after benchmark scores. When it comes to Geek Benchmark application, single core scores are almost similar. But if you see multi core scores, they are slightly lower compared to previous build. With Android benchmark application, also scores are kind of similar. Previously, it was 14 lakh 63 thousand, but this time, I mean after this update, scores are. 14 lakh 64,000. And while performing benchmark test, we did not even notice much of heating issues. The maximum temperature recorded was 43 degrees Celsius. But summers are going on, we can expect more rise in the temperature while performing heavy tasking. After this update, camera application got slight upgrade. You can see previous app version was .007.255. Now it's .007.261. So there's not major upgrade, but we did click some pictures and I personally did not notice any kind of improvements. The camera performance is exactly similar what we have seen with the previous builds so i think oneplus have almost done the camera fixing and in future we won't see much of improvements in the camera segment but you guys let us know according to you guys how is the camera performance on your oneplus 12r now let me show you the change logs what this update brings on the table for oneplus 12r as said initially there are no new add-ons only some improvements and fixes they have done first one layer to may security patch second they say they have improved the overall stability and they have optimized the power consumption to extend the battery life so these two things we'll get to know once we start using this device as a primary phone and i'll keep you guys posted in the in-depth review after that they have fixed an issue where the volume from the speaker and the bluetooth earphones might be low yes guys this was a thing a lot of users were also complaining about that speaker output is now low after that new animation engine update but i did test out on this build now the speaker volume is also loud and the sound output from the bluetooth headphones is also loud but one weird thing which i noticed and that was layer to cut down in bass i'm not sure whether only i am feeling that but you guys let me know whether they did cut down on the bass while playing music or not because I personally felt that after this update. I generally have a limited playlist and those are the songs which I regularly listen. And I did notice now device lacks on bass. After that, they have mentioned two other issues which I have personally never faced. If you guys have faced, let me know in the comment section below. With this new animation engine update, there was an issue in the widget section that have been taken care with this latest update. I'll show you on my OnePlus 12 which haven't received this latest update. But in that, if you see, if I go to widget section, you can see the clock widgets used to appear like this. Though widgets works fine, but this is how it used to appear. And now that has been taken care on this latest build. I mean on OnePlus 12 R. But still there are two issues which they haven't fixed. So for example, if you have enabled the global search option and soon you tap on the search bar, you can see the background appears in white color, which should not happen like that. I personally feel it should match the app drawer theme. And it's the same story even on OnePlus 12. If you don't enable the global search option, you just have the app drawer. But soon you enable the global search and you tap on the search bar. This is how it appears, which is in white color. And as said, it doesn't match the new launcher theme. Also, the second issue which they haven't fixed yet, and that's the lagginess or that stutter in the app drawer. So for example, if you open any application and when you go to the home screen, later on when you open the app drawer, there's a sudden shift towards the bottom side in the app drawer. And for me, yes, that's a bug. Some users might say it's just an animation issue. But according to me, what I feel, it's a bug, which you guys must have seen right now. So guys, there's nothing much to talk about in this video related to this update because it doesn't bring any kind of new changes. But you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want an in-depth review or not. If you guys agree to it, I'll do an in-depth review video of this current build after using this device as my primary phone. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.